Hey guys, welcome back to Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Kiki, and today we're gonna to be talking about the prime original series, Daisy Jones and the Six. All right, my angsty subscribers, today we are talking about Daisy Jones and the Six, the Taylor Jenkins Reid book turned series. And let me tell you, this one definitely is still a nine out of 10, despite the changes that arise throughout the series. Typically, we would do a spoiler-free review, but I wanna do this as a book reader. So for those of you who have not read Daisy Jones and the Six, it is, kind of what I like to think of as Fleetwood Mac fanfic or the origin of a band story, basically. We have Daisy, who is this typical LA bred girl who joins a band of Midwesterners and finds her groove in the music scene with them. But again, there's complicated ties, relationships that can't be relationships, friendships that can't quite work, and nothing but good music that comes out of it until everything just explodes. Did you guys want to record something or fight more? I'm fine either way. Overall, I think they did a really good job on this series. Some liberties were taken, but I think it is a great, like perfect picture snapshot of the time period. They used as many of the Hollywood locations that they could. Some of the most beautiful mid-century homes I've ever seen that really just throw you right into the 70s. There were, some moments where I was like, are you kidding me? Like trying to depict what is clearly the Hollywood Hills as Honolulu. I'm sorry, I'm from Hawaii, that's just not gonna work. But you know budgets and stuff. Can't fly a whole crew out to Hawaii. I get it, I get it. If you read the book, you know it's a documentary. We are walking through the history of this band and the series kept true to that. It was so fun living in the past and cutting back to the future and giving commentary from everyone on how these situations went down because no one ever quite remembers things how they happened and it was nice to see them kind of force each other to be honest let's get this party started fair warning i can say the first two episodes of the series are a little slow but stick with it it gets really good especially towards the end I wasn't the biggest fan of the last two episodes, but that is solely based on the fact that they took a lot of liberties from the book. Were they bad liberties? No, they worked in the story and setting that they made throughout this series. It just didn't quite line up with what I wanted. The music, great. It sounds exactly how I imagined in the book, which I think is crazy because a lot of times your imagination doesn't quite line up with what's gonna be in everybody else's mind's eye. But the sound apparently was described well enough. The songs are catchy. It is so much fun. I think I get how The Six was the band of the time. However, how did we never get a full actual concert? I mean, you guys wrote the songs. They're good. Why do we only get 20 seconds here and there? Just sing it. You just let me know when you're ready. But let's talk about casting. I think the casting was almost on point. And let me tell you why. Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. You were my problem from the beginning to the end. As much as I love your character in the book, in the show you didn't shine the way I wanted you to. And that's because you're not messy. As a book reader, I was in love with the character Daisy Jones. She is a Hollywood socialite, as in she's the bar girl. She is always on the Sunset Strip. She does any and everything for the music. She's not a groupie. She's not a Band-Aid. She's, I don't know, an art supply? The character of Daisy Jones in the series just did not lean into the character in the book. There was lack of addiction. She was a little too polished and just a little too upscale. However, Riley not being the Daisy that a book reader had in mind has nothing to do with Riley's execution, but more kind of the twist they went with writing this series. 
Her voice was great. Her acting was great. Her chemistry with Billy was really good. However, she's just not the Daisy from the books. And I think a lot of people will watch it and see that they really don't understand the drama between the two of them without the mess. In the book, Daisy walks this fine line between music and her love for it and addiction. And they really go hand in hand. There would be no Billy and Daisy love story without Daisy's addiction. However, I didn't see a lot of that in the show. When I read the book, I really felt as if the character Daisy was kind of just walking through this world a little zonked out. And it didn't really seem like that in the show. She's about as coherent as your everyday kindergarten teacher. And she might pop a pill here and there, but the girl's getting by. No one would think not a head or bat an eye towards her addiction. And I struggled with that. I think we're in kind of a climate where people are very afraid of glamorizing addiction because it is a very, very, very serious problem. But I think in the sense of showing the maturation of the band and where they started from and where they ended, you had to show the mess of what the addiction did to the band. Other than that, everybody else was really great. Graham, so adorable. One of my favorites. Suki Waterhouse, perfect Karen, absolutely great. Another standout character was Sebastian Cachon, I think. He plays Warren Rojas, who in the band is honestly just like the breath of fresh air that exists in the book and in the series, who's like, but we were in a band and we were having a good time. His character throughout the series did everything he wanted, lived his good life, and is not bitter at the end. Josh Whitehouse as Eddie, great job there. He was worse in the series than in the book. I wanted to punch him too. Nabia B, who plays Simone, is the exact Simone from my brain. However, I don't like where they took her in the series. I feel like they kind of knocked some of the confidence out of Simone. Simone in the book, she knows who she is. She knows what she wants to do. She knows she's that girl. And she meets Daisy and Daisy's lost. Daisy's messy, but she sees the talent in Daisy. She pushes for Daisy. And she's kind of this big sister to Daisy. And throughout the series, you kind of see her and Daisy having this best friend relationship, but you don't see why Simone would really want to be friends with a girl like Daisy or why Daisy would need to lean on someone like Simone. And then a standout amongst all the characters for me, Camilla as Camilla Dunn. In the original book, Camilla is kind of a side character because at the end, this is the Billy and Daisy show. But where they took Camilla in this series was so much fun. She honestly was such a standout. They made Camilla a really strong character in this series. She could have been someone that they just pushed aside, but instead they made her character someone you can really root for, and the actress did a phenomenal job bringing her to life. What people want to see, it's an act, you know that. Tell me that there's nothing going on between us. Tell me if I'm crazy. Another liberty that I feel like the show took was really forcing the love relationship a little harder than the book did. In the book, you kind of walk this like torrid little line of will they, won't they, between the main leads, Billy and Daisy. There's no gratification. There's no, and they slept together. There's no, and they ran away. The entire time, it is two people pining over each other, but never crossing that line. However, the show crossed the line. I mean, it didn't go full fledged, you know, off sides all the time. But I'm just saying we hit bases and that never happened in the book. He never manipulated what he felt with Daisy to get the band to move forward or had a conversation with her really expressing that he shared those same feelings as her. In the book, Daisy Jones and the Six, we really feel Daisy's one-sided love and how it fuels music for her. And that's what's missing in the series. Oh, we can make a good thing Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kiki. 
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below when you watch Daisy Jones on the 6th. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.